Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is the 10th. We do have, once again, another USDA report tomorrow uh, just showing supply and demand. So how much carryout do we have left over and only old crop number? There will be no new crop numbers on this report. That will be in May. So old crop carryout still looking to be above 2.3 billion carryout for corn, somewhere close to 445 to 450 million carryout now for beans. These are still some big numbers, but we are finding the markets recover a little bit today. Rain in South America helping support the bean market. Um, also, this chatter right now of China and our export situation with them. And really, it's more of a headline for beef. Came out yesterday talking that China uh, may end up lifting the ban on beef uh, that they've had with us since 2003. So this may be something that uh, can support uh, the cattle market. Uh, with hogs, we've known we've been giving them pork. Uh, that shouldn't matter too much for hogs. But there is now a 100-day period that we will be talking with China in order to fix and to better further our trade with them and trying to come to some kind of a trade agreement. So that is now in place. That's encouraging for the grain markets as well. A lot of information coming out showing what China's production may end up looking like for new crop. Well, those numbers are friendly because they're less than where they were a year ago. And so with China's demand for beans could be further uh, and, and could really propel these beans higher if we see this record demand continue that USDA has already set for us. So we'll see what happens here as we move forward, but that cattle market should be exciting here once we open up. Give us a call, 800-262-7538 or on the web at allendale-inc.com. Have a great day.